Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome in. Winning Cures Everything NFL Gambling Picks for week number 13. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And if we got some stuff to talk about with you, it's Thanksgiving week. Hopefully everybody's having a good Thanksgiving. If you're watching this beforehand, travel safely. Don't be crazy out there. Please. We understand how it goes. I went 3-3 three and three last week. I lost $22.73. Chris went 3-3 three and three last week. He lost $43.18 on the season. I am 27-35. and 35. I am down 14.32 units. Chris is 29-29. and 29. Still at 500. And he is up 3.08 units. Not too shabby. In our football picks contest, and Melissa H. went 9-1 and one last week. Pretty strong. Won the tiebreaker to win the week. Yes, sir. Not too shabby. So she got herself a pretty awesome prize from Tunica, Mississippi. You can win one this week. All you got to do is go over to the website, winningcureseverything.com. Click on the football picks contest. Put your name and your email in. Pick 10 games against the spread, 7 college, 3 NFL. These are all Saturday and Sunday games. You got to get your entry in before 10 a.m. Central Time on Saturday morning. Make sure you go and check that thing out. Of course, while you're over there on the website, you can find all of our videos, podcasts, picks, previews, our social media platforms. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. You're watching on YouTube right now. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button on the video. And make sure you comment. Tell us what you like this week, what you don't like. You know, obviously, I could use a little help. Chris is doing all right over here. I mean, I'm 500. That's not great. but That's not great, but it ain't losing. True. You are up money right now. So Correct. your your bigger games seem to be hitting. Uh, mine are not. <laughs> There's not a ton of mine are. I am better in NFL this year than I am in college, at least. Yeah, and you're yeah, and you're doing better in the NFL this year than you have in previous years. No, last year I was uh, I was over fifty two percent. Were you really? Yeah, yeah. And so NFL, I've, I've typically done okay. Okay. So it uh, this year just gambling across the board, I've been terrible. Pretty terrible. It happens. Um, I'll tell you somebody that appreciates me doing terrible. Tunica, Mississippi. They're the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. I have lost money at all of them. So go and check them out. Tunicatravel.com is the website to find more information on all of them. Uh, they will appreciate your business. I guarantee it. And it's a perfect spot to get away from the family over Thanksgiving. Just saying. Going to be a lot of football on, a lot of basketball. We got some uh, tournaments going on in college basketball. NBA is already full force. I mean, we're over a month into this thing. So, go check it out. Go watch some games. Go put some money on some games. They got awesome bars, awesome steakhouses, all sorts of stuff going on. Tunicatravel.com is the place to find more information on all of it. We can also tell you about uh, another new sponsor. That's it. We, first off, wait around until the end of the episode. We got our buddy TJ Reeves coming in with us, the host of the Three Dog Thursday podcast. Uh, you want to tell him about Smack Apparel? Yeah, I mean, so you go to smackapparel.com. We appreciate them joining the family. Helping support us out. If you're looking for sports graphic t-shirts, that just, you know, some of them are novelty. Talk a little smack about teams you hate or uh, or just get, you know, a shirt that you like. Yeah. For you. Fun, fun designs. Yeah. I mean, it, Chris has got one pulled up right now. It's a Patriot shirt. That's right. It's talking about, uh, talking about Tommy. That's talking right. about Tom Brady. Yeah. It says from, from the sixth round to six-time world champ. And it's got a picture of a goat with the, with the Tom Brady jersey on. That's right. So, I mean, that, that, that kind of stuff. They, and they got a ton of awesome, awesome designs. That's right. So, do yourself a favor. Go over to smackapparel.com. Promo code WIN gets you 20% off. If you spend over 40 bucks, you get free shipping. So, can't really find a better deal than that, especially with Black Friday, Cyber Monday. You got to get your Christmas shopping done. Go check them out. Smackapparel.com. Promo code WIN. You can get 20% off. Go check them out. We have got uh, several games that we're going to bet on this week. So Chris and I are going to jump on into this thing. I've got six, you've got five, so I'll go in and start us off here. Game number one, the biggest game of the week. 49ers at the Ravens. It is supposed to be nasty. 49 degrees, raining the whole game. It's going to be cold, it's going to be wet, it's going to be nasty. This 49ers defense is legit. Both of these teams are red hot right now. The Ravens are are more hot, I think, than the 49ers. But six points is way too much right here to me. 
I mean, this is just an absurd line. Uh, 49ers plus six for $75 is my pick on this uh, because I just I, I don't see how that defensive front doesn't get stops for the 49ers. I, I think as far as scoring goes, they will be able to keep up with the 49ers, I mean, with the, uh, the Ravens. Uh, Lamar Jackson, when he's been on the field, he has not turned the ball over, and they have not had to punt in three weeks. Guarantee you they will punt on Sunday. Uh, I, I like the 49ers to keep this close. I don't know that they win the game. I could see them winning the game. I mean, it's not like the Ravens haven't lost at home this year. I mean, they lost to the Browns. But, I mean, they are on fire right now. Uh, and, and I think people just kind of forgot about what the 49ers did to the Packers on Sunday night. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it seems like Lamar made everybody forget what, how good the 49ers are. I, I like that pick. What, uh, what you got first? Starting out Thanksgiving Day. Going to Dallas. And uh, I I think this Dallas team, for the first time ever, Jerry Jones has called out Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett. And I I wonder, do we have any kind of divisiveness going on in the locker rooms? How much of the team is doubting the head coach now that Jerry has publicly doubted the head coach? Um, and, And also, on the flip side of that, I like Sean McDermott. Oh, yeah. I, I like the Bills. I mean, they they kind of beat the crap out of the Broncos last week. 20-3. to three. Yeah, and, and they dominated and controlled that football game. This they are 8-3, and three, and it's almost like people just forget that they're there. Yeah, I know. They just assume, oh, Buffalo always sucks. No, Buffalo not only doesn't suck, I think they've already locked themselves into a wild card spot. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're playing really good football right now, and uh, I think they got a chance to win this game. Yeah. Go to Dallas and to win this game. Uh, that defense is going to come with the thunder. And and this is going to be two weeks straight where I think this offense is going to struggle. And You're talking about the Cowboys. Offense. Cowboys yeah. offense, that's right. The, and the Bills, I think the Bills can score. They need to score just enough. I get six and a half points. I think that's a lot of points, man. I just do. I want 100 bucks on the Bills plus six and a half. 100 bucks. There you go. I can get down with it. Next game up for me. Look, I'm going to Arizona. The Rams are a three-point favorite at the Cardinals. Cardinals aren't great. They're they're serviceable. But the Rams just got embarrassed. And, look, you got the Cardinals kind of been sitting, waiting on this game. Rams, short week, because they had to play Monday night. They got thumped. I like the Rams here. I think they come back in this game. The Cardinals' defense is not what the Ravens is. And the Cardinals' offense is not what the Ravens is. Look, this is a prime spot for Sean McVay and that bunch to get right. This is a get-right spot. I like the Rams minus three here. I'm putting 100 bucks on it. What's your rolling? Sunday, Indianapolis Colts host the Tennessee Titans. Yes, they do. I got to lay two and a half. Give me 100 bucks on the Colts. They have owned Tennessee in this rivalry. I think they've had a little bit more time to prepare for this game in the sense that they played the Thursday night game, so they got the extra days of rest and and preparation. I get what I believe is the better quarterback. I get what I believe is the better head coach. And I I just think this is going to be a tough game for the Titans. The Titans have been rolling. I don't think they're the kind of team that's going to roll off six, seven wins straight at the end of the season. So I think this is one of those spots where they fall. I need a field goal win. If Adam Vinatieri doesn't screw this up, I should get a field goal win pretty easy. I like it. I like it. Next one up for me. I'm going to Pittsburgh. I I like the Steelers better with Duck at quarterback. Now, I don't think he's great, but he ain't Mason Rudolph. As Tomlin said, he don't kill us. That's all you need. This Steelers defense is legit. Now, I understand the Browns defense is legit, too, but yeah, you don't have to worry about Miles Garrett this week or for a while, really. So, uh, I'm taking the Steelers plus two here. I ain't putting a ton on it. I'm putting 50 bucks on this one. But I think the Steelers find a way to win this game. I think they're going to be fired up. They got embarrassed at Cleveland uh, a couple weeks ago. Like I, I like I like the Steelers in this bounce-back spot. Give me a... Uh, Give me Pittsburgh plus two at 50 bucks. 
100 bucks on the Browns, minus two. <laughs> this is not even about the defense. Both defenses are fine. This is about the Browns' offense. They have looked marketably better. It, it took them about eight weeks, nine weeks to figure out how, what they want it to be and how they want it to play. But Baker looks like he's hitting guys in stride. He, he's getting Odell and Jarvis involved in the games. I think those guys are going to be fine. Chubb is still a an absolute stud. I think they win this game. Two points. You're picking a winner. I don't know that being in Pittsburgh matters. I think Pittsburgh's offense is inept. You might be right. They, they are they are offensively, they are a disaster. He might be right. I don't know. I'm going Steelers. I like uh, I like the Steelers at home here. I think uh I think this is a pride game. I think this is a pride game. Next one up for me. Let me write my time down here. Next one up for me is the Vikings at the Seahawks. Now, again, not a ton of money on this one, but I I really like how the Vikings are playing right now. I think they need this one more than the Seahawks do. It's a Monday night game. Uh, Seahawks, of course, look great on Monday night. They look great all the time, really. Russell Wilson playing out of his mind. So is Kirk Cousins quietly. You know, people not really paying attention to it, but this offense has really figured some stuff out uh, with, with Stefanski and... Uh, Gary Kubiak, like they they have figured out how to push the buttons of Kirk Cousins and Stephon Diggs and Dalvin Cook, and I, like I think they're going to be able to run the football. Uh, Jadavian Clowney may not play. You know, I I like the Vikings here. I think they get the win outright, but I will take all three of those points. Give me Vikings plus three fifty bucks. I'm doing the same thing. Um, I think this is a pretty evenly matched team. Yeah. I'm taking the team that gets a field goal head start. I like that. I like that. Uh, right, so we, we've only got one so far that we uh, we, agree that on. we agreed on. Next one up for me. I'm going to take a hot hand here. Okay. I don't trust Cincinnati for nothing. Now, I may be crazy for that. But I'm taking the Jets minus three and a half at Cincy. I think the Jets are rolling right now. Their offense looks great. Cincinnati is just look. They're they're going back to Andy Dalton this week. That's that's how crazy things have gotten. Uh, if you are a Bengals fan and you've been going to these games, I have all the respect in the world for you because that is some tough stuff to sit through, man. Like you guys deserve to have a player like Joe Burrow. You'll get him at number one. Don't worry, because uh, I think Burrow will will help this team. Because you've got weapons. you got guys. They, they, I just don't think your coaches really know what to do with them. And I don't think you got a trigger man. No, that, they don't have that. That's the biggest problem here. Uh, I think that they can figure out ways to get these guys involved so long as you got a trigger man, but he ain't coming until next year. For now, Sam Darnold playing out of his mind. Playing out of his mind. He he's, did against the Raiders in one game. Yeah, I, uh, yeah but he's – I mean, they've won three straight. They're looking good. So I, I'm taking the Jets minus three and a half. I'm putting 150 bucks on this one. Okay. I feel strongly about this. Wow. I think crazy ass Adam Gase has got this team rolling right now. And I don't think it stops this weekend. I like them a bunch right here. Too funny. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> who, who you got I'm not, next? I'm not touching that game, but if I did, I would I would bet the Bengals. That's a, you crazy. I think there's the thing this is gonna be the game they're gonna win. They've got a two they've got a two game lead. On the, the the tanking, they don't have a lot of winnable games, and I think there's a reason they're going back to Andy Dalton. It's because they know they can win games with him, and they've seen what they needed to see in the young guy. So let's try to win one for our home team. Okay. For our fans that are coming out and watching football games. But anyway, neither here nor there. My last pick, listen, offensively, the Patriots have struggled. They, they didn't look good against Philadelphia. Got the win, got the cover. They didn't look good against the Cowboys. Got the win, didn't get the cover. They're going to win. They're going to cover in Houston. Minus three. Houston's defense is not really good. I think this offense is going to get rolling this week. I really do. I think Tom's going to throw a couple of touchdowns. I think they're going to run the football. And for some reason, Bill O'Brien hasn't found a way to get this offense cooking. 
Deshaun Watson is scary. Deshaun, yeah, Hopkins is scary. DeAndre. DeAndre Hopkins. I knew that was wrong <laughs> when I said it, but I didn't. I couldn't remember DeAndre. Hopkins is scary. Yeah. For some reason, Will Fuller scary. They they just can't get this thing figured out. No, they can't get everybody involved. And it's and it's not a, a Watson's problem. It's not a Hopkins problem because those guys are studs. No, this is a scheme issue. Yeah, this is a bill problem. And uh, the bill on the other side, really good, really good. If if you don't have your ducks in a row, boy, he's gonna scatter them across the pond. Yeah, you got that right. I, I think this is one of those games where the Patriots kind of go to Houston and kick their butt. Well, I mean, it, it, the Patriots are wanting to make sure that they keep that leg up on the on they, the Ravens. They got it. The Ravens only have two losses. This is Sunday night. There's no doubt the Pats want so bad. They need the 49ers to come in and beat the Ravens. Oh, big time. They they would like a, a one-game insurance yeah. because they don't have the tiebreaker now. You got that right. Last game for me, last game for us, before we get to T.J. Reeves here. I'm going to Jacksonville. Now, I understand everybody and their mother is on the Bucks this weekend. But something about, that, something about that's fishy to me. Like, I know Nick Foles does not look good. And this Jags defense has not looked good. No, the Jags defense has been I mean, they got, awful. Em- they got embarrassed last week. But they opened as a four-point favorite against the Bucks. It's down to one. And now, is it plus one now, or is it just is it minus one? They're, they're minus one here. You can get them at plus one. What is it, 96% of the people on, on the Bucks? Vegas Insider in Vegas, 96. 96%. Look. Everybody's taking them. Something's weird about this. I'm going the opposite side. I'm I'm siding with Vegas on this one. Uh, I'm putting a hundred bucks on the Jags minus one. All they got to do is win the game. You win the game, you get the cover. Look, I think the Jags find a way to pull this one out. I think it. Look, Jameis is Jameis has not turned the ball over a ton. Yeah, there there are lines where you can get Jacksonville plus one. Yeah, hey, give me the plus one. I'm I'm like, I'm looking at it right let now. Let me let me just go on and do that. They give me the plus one. I'm putting a hundred bucks on it. I think the Jags win the game. I, it may not be by a bunch, but I, look, Jameis has done okay here recently. I, this may be the game where he he loses it and throws three picks, four picks, whatever. Uh, I will pretty much always pick against Jameis Winston. Yeah, and I'm doing that here. I'm consistent on that. The the second you trust that guy. Just it's a fool's errand. Yeah, way too many people betting on the Bucks. Uh, normally, those don't come in. So I'm taking the Jags plus one here at a hundred bucks. Uh, I think they win the game. I think they win the game. All right. With that said, that wraps it up. Of course, you can go over to Winning Cures Everything. Find all of our gambling picks over there. Uh, keep up with everything we've done for the past four seasons. You can see every pick we've made. Uh, we don't try and hide nothing. I've been crappy this year. You can see all the picks. I own it. I've not been good, but uh, but I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking anyway. So, uh, if you would, go over to the Three Dog Thursday podcast. Make sure you subscribe over there. But right now, you can get him right here. This is TJ Reeves. All right, on with us to talk a little NFL football. Mr. TJ Reeves, the Three Dog Thursday podcast host and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers sideline reporter. You can find him on Twitter, at Buck Sideline Guy, you can get the Three Dog Thursday podcast anywhere you get your podcast. TJ, I want to start off with something that we have touched on multiple times. Let's talk about the New Orleans Saints and the Panthers and, and the fact that there was a pass interference challenge that actually got overturned. Yes. Well, first, good to be with you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's going to taste a little better around the Reeves household and all the Buccaneer households, Jameis Winston, Bruce Arians after a win in Atlanta. Oh, yes. I know we're going to touch on Bucks and Jags in a little bit. So it's good to be with you guys. Uh, and, and the scenario, I have been saying this, what do I know? But I, I, I get some of these right. I have been saying this ever since they put the pass interference rule in for replay review and coaches challenge. 
Watch it come up in a huge moment and bite the New Orleans Saints. The loudest complainers, the reason why that the rule is there, let's boycott the Super Bowl, let's show up in the first game of the season on Monday Night Football wearing referees' jerseys and throwing flags in the stands and acting like you're referees and make fun of the officials. How did I know? How did those that have been paying attention know this is going to come back at some point in the key situation this year and bite the Saints? And there was a there was a real chance that it was about to on Sunday as Carolina made the comeback. They had a fourth and goal play, do or die play, uh, trying to get in the end zone. And uh, obviously the Saints defender grabbed the receiver coming out on the out route out of the backfield, and it was not called on the field. And Ron Rivera threw the challenge flag, and sure enough, the New York Command Center something that was no call on the field and previously not reviewable, not reversible, was reversed. And it gave the Panthers a first down. Now, they did not end up getting the go-ahead touchdown, and then they missed the field goal. So that worked out. That part of it had nothing to do with the controversy and the flag. New Orleans eventually went down and kicked the winning field goal, but it burned them. It, It burned them in a crucial situation as they battle for the division and for home field advantage there at the end. I can't say that I'm surprised. It worked out. They won the game. But there there was an opportunity where the league said, you're the guys complaining the most. Now we're going to call it against you. And that's exactly what happened. And it's it, I, it, I don't think it's the first time all season, but it sure felt like it. Like, it's, I, it, you have seen stuff that just looks egregious all season long. Close that wasn't, to dismemberment of limbs. Yes. And we're not calling it. And, and then we're not overturning it. And it's driving the coaches crazy. I and agree. Then, and then in this situation, they use it specifically to get back at, <laughs> at New Orleans. I mean, it's just bonkers to think about it. Did Roger Goodell light a cigar when they, when they did that? <laughs> like the old Red Auerbach. Giannini, you feeling me, Brother Giannini? Was he like Red Auerbach with the Boston Celtics? Like the, like the victory cigar. That instant replay had to come in for the Saints, and now we're going to use it against the Saints. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not a Saints hater, and I'm also – uh, anybody who's going to stick it to Roger Goodell, I'm probably on their side. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're going to be hard to find an area where I'm going to ever be on the side of Roger. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, with the Pats guy over here, I totally understand that. Right. Totally understand right. it. All right, let's go ahead and talk about your boys. Let's talk about the Buccaneers. They opened yes. as four-point underdogs to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They're going on the road. Obviously, it's not that far of a trip. But that's that's something you can make that morning. That's correct. I imagine. Very um, easy. Very so, easy to get to with Jacksonville. We play them there once every eight years. It's an easy road trip. Hey, give me a break. We've been to L.A. and back like we <laughs> joked on your show. We've been to London and back. We've been to Seattle and back. We can go to Jacksonville. That's yeah. easy. No, that's, that's totally easy. fine. We like that. So you, you, we, get the we win. Like that. you get the win in Atlanta last week. And... And then this week, it opens four, it's down to one, and Chris has even found multiple <laughs> spots where, where the Bucks are favored. So, what, I mean, Brother Giannini, what's going on here? Because I, I would have assumed, and I know the Jags have been bad the last couple of weeks. Indianapolis and Tennessee decisively beat them, but they're back home. I would have assumed they're going to be a three-point favorite. But this thing, obviously the betting public is on the B-U-C-C-A-N-B-E-R-S go Bucks. Apparently, <laughs> they've bet the line down here yes. at this point. Yeah, I mean, I think I think, I think think Tampa Bay is getting a lot of, of, of pub A. Fans want to bet on a team that's exciting to watch, even though Jameis is completely erratic. He might be outside of Lamar Jackson, the most exciting quarterback in the NFL. Strictly <laughs> as because we joke, you don't, as we jo- you don't know as we what joke, you're going to get. Keeping, right, he's keeping both teams in the game right now. That's exactly. Right. We're throwing it to them, and then, okay, let me throw it to Evans and throw it to Godwin. You're right. That's exactly it. I, th- I think there's a lot of excitement behind that. And, uh, and then also, I mean, when he finds a way to get Mike Evans involved in the game, you're talking about just unbelievable things tend to happen. So, um, yep. you know, that, that's just, that's the way I see Let it. Let me you tell know. you who deserves an extra slice of pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. Chris Godwin, fantastic receiver. Hopefully you have him on your fantasy team. I got my hand up, Gary and Chris. I can't see you. I don't know if one of you has him, but that guy has been a stud 
uh, this season as a second receiver, and he's going to get paid down the road, only on the third year of a four-year deal in his rookie contract. Oh, yeah. He's going to get paid. He's outstanding, too, and you're right. The Bucks have no problem scoring points. And last week, six sacks put the, uh, put the tighter coverage on the Atlanta Falcons. I know Julio Jones was hurt. Uh, in the game last week, doesn't look like he can play at the time that we're talking about this in the Thanksgiving game on Thursday night, or if he is going to play, he's going to be very limited with a shoulder injury against the Saints at home. So that helped the Bucks cause. But this is, this is a very interesting spot. I was trying to think about this. I don't think in all of the weeks I've been on your show that I have ever leaned Buccaneers, but we're going to be leaning Buccaneers on Three Dog Thursday for this game in Jacksonville, guys. Now, we've got a couple of really big games on Sunday. Um, it, well, really, we might have more than that. We, we've got some big games this weekend, but I think there are none that are bigger than the 49ers coming all the way over to the East Coast playing against the Ravens. These are the two hottest teams in the NFL right now. The, the 49ers, only one loss on the season, and it was an overtime loss to the Seahawks. Correct. And, and they are getting six in Baltimore. Uh, it, well, that is that is, is based on what we saw Monday night, right, from Lamar Jackson and the Ravens where they just dump trucked the Rams, and he looks phenomenal. Oh, this I mean, is not he, a one-game thing either. This is yeah. – the, the, look, Lamar Jackson on the field has not turned the ball over nor has had to punt in three weeks. Wow. Three weeks That's they haven't punted in the field. And, uh, yeah, and in every game he begins six for six, eight for eight. He is he is operating within the system, playing calmly, and the and the 49ers and their pass rush have got to get after him uh as best they can because if you can't disrupt him, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long day. But obviously San Francisco's built that way with the pass rush and they have they have gotten to I mean, they got to Aaron Rodgers. I had him. My hand is up. I, here we go again on Three Dog Thursday. I loved the Packers at San Francisco, but that was a whooping uh, the other night because they couldn't protect Aaron Rodgers and they couldn't move the ball, and San Francisco just took after them. So this is a this is a fascinating matchup for Sunday. Of course, these two played in the Super Bowl against each other. Remember, not the night the lights went out in Georgia. Uh, Gary, I know you're a music guy, but the night the lights <laughs> went out in the Superdome at the Super Bowl oh, yes. uh, with Harbaugh against Harbaugh in that one for 49ers and Ravens. This is not Harbaugh against Harbaugh, but it's gonna be a, that's going to be a fantastic game to see this weekend. At least we hope that it will be a fantastic game. Well, I, I'll tell you this. It will at least be entertaining because the high is 49 that day, and it is a 90% chance of rain all <laughs> game long. Can so, I share a quick story? I, I was there him. in December last year. Lamar Jackson had taken over as the starter. We played them in December in Baltimore, and it was nasty like you're describing. 40 degrees, raining the whole game. I think I dried off and thawed out about New Year's Eve. I was none <laughs> too happy being on the sideline watching Lamar Jackson run and throw all over the Bucks while soaking wet in 40-degree weather. So you make a good point. Players play. So the 49ers players, they're probably not going to care that much, uh, but but clearly the conditions are going to be nasty, and I can testify it, it can get nasty in Baltimore in uh, in late November and December. Now, speaking of nasty, the Pats and the Texans are the Sunday night football game. Mm. The Texans are catching three. Uh, the Pats defense, Great of course, man. is nasty, uh, but that Pats offense cannot do very much right now. It has not, but they still find a way to win. I mean, remember they used to they used to kill everybody with their offense, and right now, with a fairly anonymous defense, they just keep getting it done. Shut down the Cowboys last week, shut down the Eagles in the second half the week before. Uh, this is going to be a real challenge, though, against the mobile quarterback Deshaun Watson and the weapons that Houston has. Going to be a lot, and of course, you got the intrigue that Bill O'Brien used to be uh, Patriots offensive coordinator uh, for a few years, so. A lot, a lot of different intrigue, different directions on this one. That, again, what do we know? But that should be a great game. Maybe a little AFC playoff preview there between Patriots and Texans boys. Not too shabby, of course. Uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about our buddies over at Smack Apparel real quick before we let you go. Yes. Tell tell me tell me what we got going on here. Well, uh, you guys have already probably made mention of oh, this, yes. but. Uh, they they have been around in uh, in Florida and nationwide and worldwide for going on 20 years, 
and I am proud to have them associated with the Winning Cures Everything podcast. I turned you guys on to this. Your audience needs to go find Smack Apparel, smackapparel.com, and see these in-your-face shirts. Brother Giannini, you got to get yourself a Dynasty shirt in the Patriots <laughs> colors for all those Super Bowl wins. they got the Dynasty shirts, but it's, it's more of an anti. If you hate uh, your opponent, if you're proud to be a hater, like the 49ers and the Seahawks can't stand each other. So if you're a 49ers fan and you're a Seahawk hater, Great, great stuff at uh, at Smack Apparel. Buccaneer fans, uh, the In Bruce We Trust shirts where they've got the Bucko Bruce, the old Buccaneer logo with Bruce Arians' likeness with the knife in his mouth. Those are <laughs> tremendous on SmackApparel.com. So well, if you're hey, a fan hey, the, of the any... The Priceless, let's, let's talk about some of the baseball. The yeah, Nationals. Right, right, the baseball, yeah. the Washington Nationals, the Priceless, winning a world championship when your best player goes and takes the money and leaves to go to Philadelphia. <laughs> it's Priceless. So you got that. You got the college football smack for rivalry weekend, NFL smack. Go to Smack Apparel and a promo code that will get you 20% off. Use the code WIN, W-I-N, for winning cures everything, WIN, at checkout. And uh, you will save 20% just off of that. Take advantage of Black uh, Friday. Check it. Take advantage of Cyber Monday and the holidays. These are tremendous in-your-face theme shirts, college, and NFL football. So thank you for the plug. Of course. Mac Apparel, kids. You will want to get some of this with the shirts. They, they've they got the tees. They've got the long sleeves. They've even got toddler and infant wear. I love I love the shirts, like for the Packer fans or the Bear fans, it says, it, you know, the, the little toddler shirt that says for the Bears fans, is it me or the Packers stink? I love that. <laughs> Check it out at smackapparel.com. And, again, the promo code is WIN for your audience, W-I-N, to save uh, with the holidays coming up. Makes great gift ideas. Yeah, 20% any, off. Anything that's, right. that's over 40 bucks uh, is free shipping. Am I, am I that's correct? That's correct. If you yeah. buy two or three of those shirts, it'll ship for free if your order's $40 or more wherever you're going for the holidays. So take advantage of that. Uh, and there, there's going to be some smack talk going on oh, yeah. uh, here down the stretch of the season with some of these teams. you you gotta you got to believe – that the 49ers will be talking some smack against Lamar Jackson, trying to get him off his game. We'll see what happens. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Of course, we always love having TJ in here. You can find him on the Three Dog Thursday podcast anywhere you get your podcasts. Make sure you go and leave a nice review for him. Make sure you subscribe on it. Tell him we sent you. Tell him Winning Cures Everything loves him. He always appreciates reading those, of course. And uh, TJ, you, we can find you on Twitter, right? At Buckside Guy. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Find me there. I always love being on with you guys. Happy Thanksgiving uh, to you and your audience. And uh, viva la underdogs. Chris Giannini on with me tomorrow. Let's get some turkey leg underdog winners on Three Dog Thursday, guys. Absolutely. We appreciate you. All right. We appreciate TJ for hopping in. Always a good time. He comes on with us every single week. We always appreciate him. He is, uh, he is a good listen. He's a good conversation. We, uh, we do appreciate him for jumping in. Of course, we appreciate Smack Apparel. You go over to smackapparel.com, S-M-A-C-K apparel.com. Use the promo code WIN. You can get 20% off all of your stuff over there. They got some great shirts, favorite college teams, favorite pro teams. Uh, they got some anti-shirts, you know, uh, rivalry shirts where they're talking crap about your rivals. For Alabama, it's Auburn. For LSU, it's Alabama, et cetera. Um, I mean, they got some awesome MLB shirts. They got the Briceless shirts. They got some good brown stuff, man. They do, they do. Good good brown stuff, good Patriot stuff. Just go check it out. Go see what they got for your favorite team. Uh, I think you will appreciate it. Smackapparel.com. Use promo code WIN. That's W-I-N. And you get 20% off your order, no matter how many shirts you get, no matter what you buy. They got it all right there. 20% off if you use the promo code WIN. That's W-I-N. And if you spend over 40 bucks, you get free shipping. Perfect for Black Friday, perfect for Cyber Monday. You need your Christmas shopping done. They make it easy for you. Smackapparel.com. And you can find us, of course, over at winningcureseverything.com. Our website brings you the show every week, along with Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six incredible sports books. Uh, You can find more information on all of it over at tunicatravel.com. We appreciate them for always bringing you the show. Always bring you the picks contest. Make sure you get your picks in before 10 a.m. on the website over at uh, winningcureseverything.com. Check out the football picks contest in the navigation bar over there. Anything else we need to hit? We hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. Travel safely. 
eat a lot of turkey, watch a lot of football. We hope it is a profitable weekend for you. We will see you all again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.